our um, wartime tea, our dinner, which is corned beef hash. So Papa is so making boiled. corned beef hash. Two kilo of potatoes, boiled, to soften so you can mash them. And what did you put in there? I put some nice butter, anchor butter, and a bit of milk. And then I mash it. And then in this pan... I sauteed one onion, and I like onion in with the corned beef hash. And where's your corned beef? My corned beef is here, it's just going to be sliced and mixed. But mixed. I, might, I might make this mash. Nice and creamy, but can, can I, I know you're gonna, I know you're gonna taste it. I will put you some. I'm gonna whip it so it's nice. I like the mashed potato, homemade mashed potato, Papa Eddie. This, I always used to ask my mum, why did you do that? And she said because her mum did. What do you mean? Well, I asked her why she whipped it like this, and she said because her oh. mum did. The well, same as like when she cooked liver, I said she used to dip the liver in flour before she'd fry it. I said, why did you? Because your mum did. Because your mum did. <laughs> well, I think fairly, if you think about it, it's to put air into the potatoes what makes it nice and fluffy. It's like an ice cream, vanilla ice cream. But that is the only one not eating mashed potato, no? He says he eats school mash, but I don't believe him. I don't think he does. He does. He always oh, he says he doesn't eat mash. Slice the corned beef. Um, so it mixes easier with the potato. When mix it. Just chop it and chop. I think when my sister does this, she, she actually grates the corned beef. Maybe she's had it in the fridge when it's a bit hard. But and then you will mix in here. And I will mix it into the potato. When the, but I've got some, as we said before, some sautéed onions. And what you can do with this when it's all mixed in together is put it in a... In the oven. In a dish, yeah. And you can actually put it in a dish and you can grill the top so it goes nice and crunchy on the top if you want it to. I'll add a bit, bit, bit at a time. I'll add another bit. Yeah. And this is my mashed potato. I want to eat it like that. And you can eat this. Mm. Some people like eating it with uh, <coughs> white cabbage. Rest of corned beef. So now I'm going to put it in, this is an oven proof dish. You, you will put it in the oven to well, bake? I'll warm it back up in the oven, but it's like, you can actually eat it like that straight away. But Do you want the potato crunchy? I'm going to, I'll show you in a second in a minute. So now you can like do a little decoration of it. That's the, the, the pan of won't be fast. potato. So, what I usually do is decorate with a fork so it sticks up a bit. And when you put it in the oven to warm up, and then you can put it up the top under the grill and it'll go crispy. I can smell the corned beef. Well, if you wanted to. What I usually do on special occasions. It's like, um, let me see. Say like it was uh, Valentine's or something, you just do like a little heart. Zeus. I'll so, tell Teddy that's his dinner tonight. And then when you um, crisp it up, Valentine's corned beef hash. Imagine that. That's Mother's Day. I think the wife would be impressed. Mother's or Day, would she no? kill you? Mother's Day, Valentine's finished, no? I don't know, yeah. I can be any day, can Papa Eddie is being romantic. See, look at that. And then when you grill it, it'll all be brown, you'll have a nice heart in the middle. Voila! Enjoy. 
Oh, now you will put in the oven. Now. How long for? Well, it's a bit warm. It's already cooked. Everything's cooked. Then you can actually eat it straight out of the pan. But oh, you want one. you want it crunchy. Sometimes when you have the you do the markings on the corned beef, some people beat up an egg and brush the egg on top, and that goes crusty too. Well, whatever you want to do. Well, you it's nice with white cabbage, boiled white cabbage. I like it. But some people like it with beans. And Mum Pete doesn't like it at all. Weird. <laughs> and so this is when it's been grilled, warmed up in the oven. Nice and crisp on top. And you can do your heart again to make it stand out. Because it's still nice and soft underneath. Can you see it? There you go. Uncompleted corned beef ash. Very nice with white cabbage. Nice when it's nice and cold, winter morning. You can have that for your dinner. Okay, take care guys. Bye.